Okay, what we have here is a Ford 1710. And it's got some pretty good size hydraulic leaks just right here on the uh, loader valve, the valve for the loader. And I believe that that valve needs to be rebuilt. Uh, it's leaking out. I, I had to get the pressure washer out here and just really clean the hell out of this thing. Uh, and those, that seal right there is leaking a little bit. I see that. It's seeping. I need to get some emery cloth and clean that really, really good. And check these. I need to clean those really, really good. I need to clean all of the uh, rods on this thing. Uh, what do we got here? And it's got the uh, Ford 770-80A. Uh, loader attachment on it That's what we're looking at right there I know that the uh, differential lock is stuck down But this is a 12 4 That means I got 12 forwards and full reverse uh, I think that's where I'm going to put the hydraulic fluid right there and check that it takes four Roughly five gallons of hydraulic fluid, you know, so I'm gonna put five gallons of hydraulic fluid in it uh, And I'll probably Take this loader off right here Get another muffler for it take the loader off Because I got to do some welding on it. I got a crack in that bracket right there. You can see it right there. So I need to weld that yeah, probably on this side too. I can't see it, but I need to double check out where it all pulls together And then go find me a bar to go across here yeah. And right now I'm putting a charge on it because uh, I know the alternator works uh, Because he brought it out here the battery was dead and them cables suck, so I got to change the cables out. Uh, but I'm putting a charge on it. I need to replace all the hydraulic lines on this loader. Yeah, I'll put me some quick connect fittings on this thing. And I don't know if I'm going to go back with that hard pipe or not. It just depends. Because, well, bent pretty good right here. I don't know. We'll have to see if I can get it all loose. If I can get it all loose and it's still usable, okay. I'll do that. Yeah. That right there is where I need to put it. And that's, hell, it's just actually almost off. The thing has come up. As you can tell right here. All right. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Let's see if she'll just crank. I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle. <laughs> the funny thing is, the starter's on the other side. And he was telling me that uh, it was wrong ignition. Well, let me test that, see if this thing flips backwards. Uh-oh. Oh, well, it does. It goes backwards. So you can actually hold that. Uh, there. Now them go plugs should be warming up. Ignition costs 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I'll get an ignition for it, new switch. All right, we're letting it set, we're letting it set. I'm gonna get me a glow plug light on this thing too. Uh, all right, let's turn it on. we walk over here. Let's just give it just a touch more throttle. Uh, it's not cranking like it was yesterday. Give it some more throttle. Hold on. Warm 
spring plugs up. I know that uh, gauges don't work on it, so I need new gauges. Uh, I'll get it after I finish that truck over today. I'll work pressure wash this thing down real good, but I gotta get filters for it everywhere. Uh, it's badly just neglected, is what it is. Uh, it's just neglected. Yeah. I can get a rod for that too. A bucket leveler rod. Let me find out where that I can get one for that in. Alright. Uh, the battery's just weak. Alright, it's turned off. I ran it around here yesterday because I had to, uh, I traded uh, HR. 5111 for it plus the part machine as you can tell I got rid of all that shit every bit of it so he's got a job on his hands yeah and the battery's pretty well dead mm. yeah I'll put a quick charge on it for right now hold on I'll just get it quick charging I could have put it over on start yeah we'll just charge it quickly and somehow or another, I don't ever get a damn seat for it. Let's do another video because it's long.